Hey guys, welcome to this week's individual weekly video for the week of June 18th. And I'm so excited because this week is actually a really cool collaboration with a chance for you to win your own tarot deck from Hip Chick Tarot. We have got Maria coming up after my forecast, not only telling you a little bit about her cards and her tarot deck, but also giving each individual sign a little mini reading of what that card applies to for them for the week. So make sure you stay tuned after your forecast to see what Maria has to say for you as well. And make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe my page and Maria's for a chance to grab this tarot deck, which is phenomenal. All right, stay tuned for your forecast. Hi, beautiful Cancer. So this week, the week of June 18th, kicking off right at the beginning of the week on Monday the 18th, we have got a fellow water energy Neptune moving into a retrograde stance for the next five months. And when Neptune takes a retrograde, the gift that we really get, besides being able to look back, review, re-edit, reconnect these things, is clarity because Neptune is our planet that can be foggy, it can be deceptive, it creates a fantasy and sometimes an imaginary world or sometimes a place where we put ourselves, especially you as a Cancer, very family, very committed, very for others energy in a position where you think you should be doing more, taking on more than you really need to. So in this particular energy, I think what you get the opportunity to do is to get a lot of clarity about what's up and what's going on for you. Now, this retrograde happening in Pisces is going to be happening in the ninth house for you. So for some of you, I think that you really will at a, at a subconscious kind of level be going over um, your faith. You're going to be really re looking at your faith. What do you believe in now? What are your philosophies? What do you have some clarity on? What has the last five years shown you about what you believe and what path is right for you? You know, should you be taking um, a different religious or faith path than you have been taking? This is something you will look at. It will be subtle. It will likely be slow, but you will have the clarity to do it. For others, this is a wonderful energy to find out if you are really connected to your educational path or process. So this is a great energy to get going on those kinds of things. And I really do think for some of you, you know, if there was a book you wanted to read, a movie you wanted to see, a language you've been wanting to study, whatever it is that kind of hides up here in this um, ninth house space for you, and maybe you put it down before, remember it's a retrograde, so we draw on the past, so some of those things could be coming back to the surface, and you're a lot more connected to them in terms of, does this bring clarity to my life? For some of you, I kept getting as well with the ninth house being travel, domestic travel or not domestic, international travel and things like that. This could be a time where you don't necessarily have to be taking a trip, Cancer. You don't have to be going anywhere, but there's definitely some kind of spiritual connection to something over there. So something further away from you that has definitely got your attention, whether that be, you know, in your business, you're doing international trade or business or things like that. If it's something legal, this is definitely a time where we don't have the delusion of facts. The facts become very clear and very reality and very real and there's no escape from them. And you may be dealing with some of those things as well, especially because Neptune is a global energy, right? It, it, it rules over a whole society. It's an outer planet. So it's not just personal to us. Now, as we get towards the end of the week, we actually kick off your birthday season, which is gorgeous, so happy birthday, okay? And we've got the sun moving, of course, into Cancer to do that. Now, it's gonna be a beautiful energy all the way until July, so you've got four weeks to work with this, and the sun is lighting up you and who you are. This is your solar return time, right? Your brand new birthday year. What do you want? Who do you want to be? How do you want to represent yourself? The ninth house also being a house of broadcasting or putting yourself out there. Maybe we've got this sun and this Neptune energy and you're adjusting what perception you would like the world to be able to have of you as well in terms of how you're putting yourself out there. I do think if you have a past passion that you've been into, it may be a time during this solar year to pick it back up because maybe there's really something valuable for you there. The other thing that I I think of that birthday time and I know it happens every year for me is that I get clear on some ways that I want to participate and the ways that I would like people to participate with me 
in my world if you've had some kind of weird relationships or you've had something you've still been holding on to from the past this may be actually be a time with the sun shining bright being bringing light heat um, essence and vitality here you say this suffers my vitality this suffocates me i don't want this and so you kind of make these changes internally and then they get to reflect externally as well but whatever happens it's birthday time so shine bright like that big beautiful sun shine bright like a diamond that just came into my head <laughs> make this birthday time rock okay all right coming up just after me we've got my friend maria from hip chip tarot so make sure you like comment and share this video and like her channel as well to get a chance to win this beautiful tarot deck but maria is not only going to pull a card for you to focus on this week but she'll tell you a little bit about the card and who she is as well so stay tuned right after me all right and make sure you have booked your 2019 birthday appointments they are going fast i love you guys so much happy birthday and i'll see you next week bye so this is the will card uh normally called the chariot and let me see if you get a good look at it. So this woman has um, this big burst of, of um, you know, of light around her head, and she's like a, a Roman <laughs> gladiator in a way. But uh, she's got two cats on leashes instead of the chariot, and the cats um, represent conflicting um, ideas. This woman is, is in a position to make a decision and move forward. She's moving her agenda forward. She's got a goal and she wants to reach it. But she's got this white and black cat that um, need to be controlled. And everybody knows that cats don't like to be controlled. So the way that she does this is she applies her will. You know, she's going to do this she's going to reach that goal and she works really hard and when there's a decision to be made she does what she can with the information that she has she's not standing still this card is about movement and to move forward she has to make this choice so she thinks hard about it she weighs the pros and cons she chooses and she moves forward and that's the point where the real spiritual part of this card comes in, because at that point she has to drop the, leash, the leashes and let the universe take control because the universe is in control anyway. So when she does that, she um, knows that she's done a good job, the best job she can, and that's her peace of mind. So this card, um, obviously has a practical element in it because um, we all need to move forward and you know do what we're here to do and it also has a spiritual element of trusting in the universe and trusting in the decisions that you've made and feeling good about yourself so i hope this card um, comes up and encourages you to go for it and to feel good about the decisions that you've made